Oh my god. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is the peace dealer. Um I'm I'm actually dumbfounded because I was just going to get straight to the point, but as I'm recording this video, I look to my left and this video which is solely and exclusively meant to be about Saturn, uh, wants to show its presence. So I'm gonna actually show you. Was not planning to do this, but I mean, at this point, what is life? Yep. <laughs> that real, folks. Anyway. It has begun. It has finally begun, ladies and gentlemen. Saturn is zero degrees Aquarius. In three years, 2023, the beginning of the end will be here. I know we have a lot of like apocalypse, end of day feelings. These are just the birth pangs. These are the rumors of wars. This is, we're just getting our feet wet, but we're not there yet. Okay, 2023 ushers in the new dawn of light. And Pluto's going to enter Aquarius. The new dawn of light is the coming of age of all children born after the year 2000. It's a momentous occasion. 90s kids, you in there too. But we're awakening now and we're coming of age now. So this is where their voice is gonna shine and we're going to see the hugest changes in legislation, politics, entertainment that has ever existed. This is the younger generation that we're preserving to at least make it to there. So the new dawn of light is characterized by three pillars. Right now, they're in the dark. The social reform and change needed by it being attacked by people talking about uh, talking out about injustice will reach a climax 2023 when Pluto goes into Aquarius and it's a transformation of social issues and a uh, much more intense getting together with the collective. Second pillar of light is Neptune going into Aries 2025. This is going to give us perspective of how to make sense of this social reform through a new way to look at the identity and the th third pillar of light is Uranus and Gemini 2027 that's going to revolutionize the way we communicate and express this. These three pillars are bringing in this new dawn. All the issues that we have that are at the end, they're breaking through. We're almost there. And so these three years are the most crucial. We are building the rainbow bridge from one world to the next and hopefully we won't kill each other a nuclear holocaust please god please god please god anyway do you have your north node in aquarius were you born 89 90 were you born 71 were you part of the last cycle that has it north node or south node in aquarius but definitely north node in aquarius this video is for you saturn zero degrees aqua is finally initializing your destiny path saturn in astrology is Karma, the North Node is destiny. Your karma is activating your destiny. Or I should say karma itself is activating your destiny, Saturn. So I had to chuckle when I'm making this video about Saturn and I realized there's a Saturn vehicle right next to me. Regardless, coincidence aside, what's very important is those of you, especially born in the 90s, it's time. Your destiny is activating for the first time. And, and great honor to the North Node and Cap generation 91 92 uh 72 i believe or or 89 um i mean 69 uh anyone who has north node in cap or south node thank you for bringing us here i don't think you guys were honored enough because y'all definitely had it the hardest um but that north node aqua and any aquarians it's time this is a return of aquarius not only as a vibration but as an age a hey, shout out to the air signs you have spiritual gifts for those who, who have north Node aquarius that you were destined especially if you're born 90 91 89 to express okay and it is these gifts you unlock and express that is going to service and help humanity 
as we cross through the bridge, not everyone's going to make it. Not everyone's making it to the promised land. And just like the Bible, even when you make it to the promised land, there's these giants and all these people you need to take care of. Like, it's, it's still not the end of the road. If you're wondering when it's going to get better, you got to embrace now because now is the best it'll ever be every time. But I will say... Aquarius is a collective sign. It's the second to last zodiac sign. North Node and Aquas, you're downloading, uploading, and coming into form. Supernatural ability in the form of knowledge. Each and every single one of you have a message and an ideology, not just to share, but to live out and be. As you want to be the change you wish to be. But I can't stress enough how it's time. And so this is subruled by Uranus and this is already squaring Uranus, do fully expect pandemonium and crisis to strike. But not to create fear, just in the sense of something that shakes up and it tests, because Saturn's all about testing, who's really who, what's really what, and what's meant to really stay, and what needs to change. If you're North Node and Aquarius, know that it's finally time. You're going to get debriefed, and uh, it's just gonna get real. If you were born January 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, and even up to 28, you're going to be feeling this. So uh, send love to people who have their sun, moon, or any planets in that space. It's not easy to go through this. This is super intense. And uh, this is where I say it has begun. The quantum invasion. I was going to start this video off with that, but then I got thrown off by a synchronicity. The quantum invasion has begun. Technically it began like two years ago, but for the sake of entertainment and drama. It has begun now! Officially! The word quantum is in reference to any measurement of physical phenomena at its smallest scale. That's why it's quantum. It's subatomic. And so this is an invasion that you're not going to see up above it's within baby we're dealing with dark forces that uh, are attacking at a microscopic level I don't know like diseases uh, spirits impure spirits demons the whole shebang even enemy alien frequencies put that in your va in your in your vocab EAF EAF it's in the game I think that was a horrible corny joke. Other than that, um, I just wanted to make this video to debrief you and let you know if things start getting a little weirder than normal, that's normal. And if you have your North Node in Aqua, it's time to go. It's not officially going to start until next year, as 2020 is the beta test, but Alpha Overdrive 2021, I'm bringing back World War Zero really soon to explain all this, uh, 2020 is the first part of Guild Wars where we recruit, recruit, and then we go to battle, Alpha Overdrive 2021, it's going to be lit, it's going to be dope, but the only people who survive and thrive are the ones who know who they are, believe who they are, and act off on who they are. You are a star, and I really do hope, wish, and pray you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you have your North Node in Aquarius, what this means to you. Have you been feeling it? I know I've been feeling it my whole life. How you doing? How you doing? What's up? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm recording a video. Oh, okay, is it? Yeah. You need some help? No, no, I'm good. This is Rihanna Media? Oh yeah, I'm putting on YouTube. Are you a press, press person or something? I'm, I'm an astrologer. I, I uh, make horoscopes on YouTube. The Peace Dealer. Sorry, I can't hear you. The Peace Dealer. What dealer? The Peace Dealer. Peace Dealer? Yeah, like peace, love and harmony. Oh, nice, man. Nice, nice, yeah. Uh, we just started, you know, somebody was doing something. I just, I just started and I'll ask you. Oh yeah, no Am problem. Am I disturbing you? No, I mean, I'm gonna finish recording this, but... Nice to meet you. Hey, you too, nice man. jacket, man. Appreciate you. You Come have on. a nice jacket. <laughs> Thanks. I, I made it myself. We were all quarantined for such a long time. Uh, we'll see. Not, not quarantined. Like, you know, we were like being you know, in the house for a long time. So a bunch of uh, friends decided to you know, get together. That's it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. We were just having fun. So I thought, you know, oh, okay, somebody is doing something here. I thought, you know, I'll just ask a question. What's going on? Well, that's cool. Appreciate you. What was that? I said I appreciate you. 
Okay. <laughs> Do you need a drink? What? Do you need a drink? No, that's cool. I'm gonna just finish this recording this. I'm just asking you for free, man. No, I appreciate I appreciate that. Jack and Coke for free. No, I'm oh I mean I wouldn't mind that, but I'm good. Thank you though. What was that? I said I, I, I wouldn't mind, but thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Let me see. No thank you. What? No thank you. No Jack? No. Or Coke. Okay. Thank you though. Cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice, but I'm, I'm gonna say no this time. All right, man. All right, you Tell stay, you stay let blessed. Me, let me know if you need something. I will. My name is Michael. Michael. Yeah. And my name is a little complicated. It's called Avinash. Avinash, nice. Yeah. Avinash. Yeah. All right. It's actually pretty see, simple for Indian name, but then you know. I know what it's like. Yeah, most people will not pronounce my name the right way. Right. Yeah. All right, nice. man. Let us right. know if you need something. Stay blessed. All right. Cool. Oh, stay quiet is not gonna happen. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Word. <laughs> and yeah, y'all, I mean, you'd be very surprised. That right now explains a whole lot. As Aquarius has much to do with social interaction and networks and communities as well. But other than that, um, stay vigilant. Once again, like if you have and your you're not a press guy, right? in Aquarius, no, sir. You're not a press guy. Right? I'm, I'm not a press guy. Because you know the video is showing us. No, it's not. Man, I got a wife and a newborn baby. My baby is like you know, 15 days old. That's it, man. Please don't <laughs> put me on the video. <laughs> I promise you will be on the video. Oh God. Oh, and when I know we my talk about have been all, you know, quantum threats, subatomic material, and energy, and you know what? This is can take this over people. I'm pretty sure you're and you'd be surprised what they do. <laughs> Making simple taxes like this harder than they have to be. But regardless, the message has been relayed. Um, Buddy, come on, you man. must not only Let's stay vigilant, food, come on. but make sure you uh, stay sober man, as well. <laughs> regardless, um, be willing to be called when the opportunity arises. And I would say now more than ever, I would tap in Man, to the cosmic forces that guide you. With anybody. Because they're going to be more Just real than ever. I know y'all see this. I know y'all hear it too. <laughs> Regardless, don't be afraid of these quantum forces. Just be aware. And I'm going to end this here. And until next time. Yeah, I'm